It is beautiful. Thank you, Eileen. And another vigil tonight taking place in Selden, the hometown of Gabby's father. News 12's Christine Nsinga is there now. Christine. Yeah, we're at the Independence Plaza right now. You can still see so many candles here left burning at this makeshift memorial here. The space otherwise empty, but there were dozens of people here earlier this evening remembering Gabby Petito, the young woman taken too soon. Gracious God, the news of the death of Gabby Petito ripped the hearts and tore the souls of many all across our nation. A community joined in prayer in Selden tonight, the hometown of Gabby's father, Joe. A ring of candlelight surrounds a picture of the adventurous 22-year-old in a makeshift memorial that now stands just off Middle Country Road. A sign reading justice for Gabby hangs right in the middle. It's what we need at this moment. Lanterns were also set into the night sky, a sign of Gabby's free spirit. About 100 people came out, made up largely of longtime friends of Joe's and their families, like Sue Kane. She says such tremendous community outreach like this. It's helping to the family get through all of this because the whole community has just come out so much to help. And it's crazy. It was just, you know, absolutely tough. And, you know, you want to be there, you know, to help the family out and, you know, memorialize her. You know, now it's about you know, memorializing her life. Still not everyone here knew Gabby or her family personally. We've been following it. We've been looking at all the news and TikToks and everything. And we just want to pay our respects to the family and, and to Gabby because it's just it's a shame. While there is such grief and sadness and confusion now, Sue says. Hopefully out of all of this, something good can happen in this tragedy so that someone in a relationship right now is like going, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be. Comfort them with your healing presence, O oh Lord, and support them in the days ahead as they seek justice for their friend and loved one. A touching tribute, Christine. So we know Gabby's father lives in Florida now. Did he come up for this memorial tonight? Uh, Macy, I am told that Joe Petito is here on Long Island. I'm also told he wanted very much to come here tonight to see everybody, but with so much going on, he just couldn't make it. All the community members here tonight want to make sure that he knows that they are here for him and his family. Back to you. I'm sure they can feel the love even with the distance. Thank you, Christine. And this weekend plans for a public memorial for Gabby. It's set for Sunday from noon to five at Maloney's Funeral Home in Holbrook.